Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the LEGO Idea Sets that have been approved. So these have been selected from the 39 products that qualified for the first 2022 LEGO Ideas review. And you can see all of those products on this page. And this blog was issued on May 2nd, 2022. So on this page here, we can see all of them. Like the Forest Men, Secret Inn, the Legendary Concord, the Mini City Diorama. There's a lot of good ones here, especially the Lego Toilet. It comes with a UCS plaque. <laughs> Pretty cute. The koalas, are, the, the toilet's not cute. The koalas are cute. Let me correct myself there. We got the Wild West Mine. We also have the Library, which is a brilliant modular building if you ask me the steampunk airship tables of the space age the kit kat clock santa's cottage beautiful that would look really good in a winter village vibe hey we also got the mock patrol the polar express wow you know what i don't even really remember these we have the lego insects boeing 747 cockpit sherlock holmes adventure box one that i'm probably gonna have a hard time pronouncing but it is a suspension railway hanging flowers Ooh, those look good they look like real flowers we got a polaroid the opera which is another good looking modular building there a vehicle castle of brickwood forest gilmore girl's house uh there's aladdin that one's really nice with the big genie oh that looks really cool also, the Market Village. What? We got Air Jordans. That's neat. Also, Magical Village Over the Bridge. Wow, that does look magical. The Legend of the Sea Serpent. And this really cool looking train here. A legendary train, actually, as per the title. The Notting Hill Market. Another train. This one is a steam locomotive. Also, a nice-looking barn there. Wow, that actually puts mine to shame. Embarrassed. No, just kidding. I'm not embarrassed. Mine's pretty cool for what it is, I guess. Living on the edge. And also, Lego Minerals. Whoa. Very cool. Look at all those transparent elements. Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers. And an antique cash register. Look at all the bling on that thing. And that one there is our last one here with the large squid. So which of these got approved? Because there's 39 pretty cool ideas there. All right, so the first one is the Orient Express, a legendary train. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. <laughs> that looks pretty neat. I think LEGO train fans are going to be pretty happy about that. It looks awesome. Look at that engine, also the tender very detailed indeed sort of reminds me of the crocodile locomotive but you get more than the locomotive you also get a passenger car and of course these lego ideas have yet to be refined and they're always a little bit different when they're actually produced by the lego group but this one here looks pretty interesting the next one is the polaroid camera cannot say that i ever used one of these but look at that it looks like a working polaroid camera that is pretty cool I mean, it's not really nostalgic for me, but neither was the typewriter, but the build of the typewriter was absolutely incredible. So this thing would be pretty fun to build as well. I'd imagine it'll be a rather affordable set. It doesn't look huge. So pretty neat little set there. The Lego insects. Wow, look at that. We've got a large beetle, butterfly, a ladybug, also a praying mantis, and what is that, a wasp, I believe? Ooh, I don't like bugs. Actually, I don't mind that one though. It's a cute looking bug. Ah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> but it looks like we're going to get some Lego bugs. I love the ladybug. I don't know if I'll be picking this up. I mean, it's pretty interesting, but I don't really think it's up my alley. I wonder if they're going to give us anything different uh, from these insects or if they're going to stick with these original designs when they actually produce this into a Lego set. Tales of the Space Age. I got this email at 5 a.m., and it coming out at 8 a.m. Luckily, I was still up from the night before. Look at that, the Big Dipper. Oh, my gosh. The Tales of Space. I think that deserves an epic voice. To tell you the truth, I don't think those were my top picks. 
I probably would prefer the toilet. No, I'm just kidding. But I, I don't know. I just think there's some that speak to me more, like the modular buildings, even like the steampunk airship and stuff like that. I think what I can take away is that there are some affordable sets. Not the train. That one definitely won't be affordable. But things like the insects, also the Polaroid, are going to have lower piece counts and they're going to be fairly affordable. Whereas typically Lego idea sets are more on the mid to high range for price. So I think these are going to be a little bit smaller, a little bit more manageable for people to buy. And they're really going to... And I don't know, I just, I don't know, that's just my thoughts. I can't think of anything else to say. I would have preferred some of the ones that are just passing by now, in my honest opinion. And I can't say that I'm going to buy any of those. I honestly might buy the Polaroid, but probably not. I, I honestly don't think I'm going to get any of those, to be truthfully honest with you. Yeah, interesting. Why don't we take a look at some of the other LEGO ideas? This is the second 2022 round, and we don't have any winners from this category yet. There are a lot more of them, like Lilo and Stitch, Indiana Jones sort of vignettes there, another steampunk ship, also the auto repair garage. Hey, that's neat. This is actually my first time looking at them. I won't lie. Actually, no, maybe not. I, I had like a brief browse through these at one point. Oh, wow. Look at that uh, tram there. That's interesting. Also the medieval building there. Yeah, I had like a brief browse at them, but I haven't like sat down and like totally looked at them. Oh, there's another Polaroid. Interesting. There's also the Lego mushroom house. Obviously, there's lots of popularity for Polaroids based on there being Polaroids in these rounds because I believe these have to get, what, 10,000 supporters to go into this round. So yeah, Polaroid hype. Very cool. The Krusty Krab. Oh, sweet. SpongeBob SquarePants. You know what? I've never even watched a full episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. Oh, look at that surfboard use. Whoa, surfboard roof. Surfboard roof, everybody. Yeah, very neat. Very neat indeed. Oh, there's the working ski hill. Nice. That's very cool. I love the tow rope. Also a huge phone booth. Whoa, that thing looks big. Highly detailed phone booth. Hey, look at that. That looks really good. You know what? There was the uh, Snow White set. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs set that never... I think it got approved, but they never created it. I think that would have been a super cool set if they would have done that. Oh, same with the A-Team van. Is there the Scooby-Doo van in here? The mystery machine in that scale? That would be really neat to get a mystery machine in that scale. I think a lot of people would buy that. Maybe the Scooby-Doo license. Do they have that anymore? I don't know. Oh, there's a Walkman. Nice. I remember when they built a Game Boy in... Well, I've seen Game Boys all over the place, but like Lego ones, that is. But I remember when they built it in Lego Masters Australia, I think it was. It's like a redemption round or something like that. That's pretty neat. They did a Polaroid camera there too, didn't they? Wow. Polaroid, I, th I think they did. I just got to watch some more Lego Masters here right away. But yeah, these, oh my gosh, a log ride. But yeah, these are the uh, other Lego idea sets. Oh, that sea turtle's pretty cool. What is that, Crush? It comes with a UCS plaque. What? Yeah, that's hilarious. That's awesome. Yeah, these are all the uh, Lego idea sets uh, for the second round of uh, 2022. Hey, you guys! Uh, Lego cats. Oh, those are nice. And also Thomas the Train. Hey, that'd be super popular, I think. Especially if it had a low piece count and is, you know, relatively affordable. Thomas the Train. I don't know if they'd be able to get that license, though. I think that's probably held by a different company. But yeah, this is the other ones. Oh, look at that. Nightmare Before Christmas. That's a really nice looking set. And these are the ones that we just had a look at. But everybody, I just wanted to share the winners. Four of them, which is the Lego Insects, the Tales of Space Age, the Polaroid, and also the Orient Express, which is a legendary train. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.